Welcome to <laughs> tea, tea Time with Jordan and Sam. Clink. Oh. Happy tea time to you, I suppose. It's too hot to drink. We can't drink it. No, we we want to, now. though. Samantha, topics on the grapevine. Do you have any secrets you'd like to share with us at tea time today? I don't think there's any secrets I'd like to share with anyone. <laughs> That's why they're a secret. <laughs> Here's a big secret that people don't know about. Oh, we're on secret zone. Okay. I've been hacked. She's been hacked. I've been hacked, and nobody knows that I've been hacked. Except for I just posted a status update saying that I've been hacked. But. So if you're not on our Facebook, it's still a secret. It's really concerning that people think that I haven't been hacked. Very concerning. Like, they think it's me. Saying I, how I'm constipated and broadcasting it on the... Well, tell them. Like, what did they say? On the multiple times. The what what they said? Well, they, not everyone knows what they said. Oh my what gosh. I don't even want to repeat it. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't do it. <laughs> well, one was, I love my boyfriend because he holds my hand while I'm constipated. Another one was, how much wood would a wood chuck... chuck? That wasn't you either? No. Okay, see, whoever hacks her is brilliant because she they say things that we all think she would actually say. And I answered nearly all the all the posts thinking it was hers, though. I said, okay, question audience. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck of woodchuck? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck of a woodchuck? Oh my god. If say a it, woodchuck could chuck wood! How much? Like literally how? I spent up nights thinking about this question. And I have an answer. My answer to you was, basically, ever how much wood would need to be chucked to either get the predator to go away or beat its rival mate. That's how much wood you would need to chuck. But someone said a very funny answer, which I can't say because it's a rhyme, but it was like... A wood chuck would chuck as much wood... As a wood could chuck could. Yeah! Yeah! It was really clever. I was like, oh, that's really good. I think maybe I should tell less poop jokes. I've never even heard one of your poop jokes. <laughs> really? No, no, no. But yet you thought I would broadcast you, my constipation. Well, because you've said many a time I love a poop joke. I do love a good poop joke. So I just bad. don't think that talking about constipation is a joke. Oh, well. <laughs> like, that's not something you joke about. You keep that in the bathroom. But, you know, dogs poop everywhere, so that's where I talk about poop. Everywhere. I saw two posts about poop this week. Really? Yeah. Another person had said that their dog pooped. And that they saw some person kick the poop into the street <laughs> on the grass. I was like, why would you do that? That's just, that's just why would you poop? See poop, how hard poop, I laughed? Poop, poop. So basically, you tell them all the things they'd rather not know. Well, I think they'd rather not know. <laughs> like, you Warning, guys. Warning, you will not enjoy the rest of this video. It will make you very uncomfortable. <laughs> You'll just get to know more about me. Thanks. And if, if you're not pleased with that, I don't know what to tell you. Jordan will probably be saying things that he thinks people would probably like prefer him to keep secret. Oh, I can do things that people prefer me not say. I mean, I've got plenty of Well, quirks. how about we go back and forth? Okay. Uh, I'll, just, I'll just say the weird things Let's drink our I tea do. so that they know we're still, yes. it's still tea time. It's still tea time with my zen. I bet you Arena. thought I've got perfect peach because that's my best friend's favorite tea. So I keep it around to remind me. Uh, weird thing that I do. When I am very focused or really centering on something. I will pace back and forth to the point where I'm circling around objects about multiple, multiple times looking like I'm just crazy. I'll just go around in circles and circles and circles and circles until someone tells me, Jordan, you're going in circles, or I solve my problem. And that's one of my quirks. Your turn. Okay, I can tell you one of her quirky things. She enjoys singing in parking lot structures because she likes the acoustics. Like you sound amazing in a parking structure. Seriously. Like you can't doubt that. I talk to myself a lot. Like mm -hmm. if you see me at school and I'm walking and there's no one around because I have deep conversations with myself. Mostly because I spend most of my days alone. <laughs> which is extremely depressing to say, but true facts and you know what? Sometimes I surprise myself with discussions I can have. Yes, I actually believe there are three people in my head. We've got two. Oh no, U.S. of Jordan. U.S. <laughs> <laughs> I have basically two guys that basically look the same, but I haven't quite decided what their difference is. And there's another guy 
was always usually he's in like some kind of confinement and they always have some kind of interplay with each other and they're basically like my id my ego and my super ego kind of how because they only came up when i learned about those three things and like kind of like then i got the brain still so it's basically four of these because i've got the id the ego and the super ego and then just got my brain which rules everything and tries to make everybody happy it's a quiet and interesting thing. See, I'm getting weird already. I love <laughs> it. I have a thing for older men. Like, really old. Like Sam Elliott. And Rhett Butler from Gone with the Wind. And a newly discovered thing for Dumbledore. I don't like older people. I like people in my age group. Weirdo. Okay, you guys, listen. I'm not going to do a whole video on secrets for this reason. I don't want this video to be a giant regret. <laughs> Here's a thing of mine. My least favorite trait in any person Ooh. is arrogance. It just rubs me the wrong way. Equality, man. Here's a thing that a lot of people don't know yet. I'm in the Ravenclaw house and Jordan is in the Hufflepuff house in uh, Pottermore. We just joined and it was really exciting. I was a hat stall. I could have been a Slytherin, but I decided, no, I'm going to be a humble, trustworthy Hufflepuff. But that does say, don't cross me because I got some Slytherin in me. So. We all know that Jordan is actually Slytherin. I'm not a Slytherin. Slytherhead. I just got Slytherous tendencies. You are like a Slytherin. You are a Slytherin right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm seeing your Slytherin self right now. I see you. I'm Ravenclaw. I know everything. Are you spelled to see your, your true self? It's Slytherin, okay? Yeah, that's right. You have to succumb to me because I am... No? I think it's kind of hilarious that everyone gave Hufflepuffs a lot more respect ever since the Honey Badger video came out. I was like... I don't you respect you. You're Slytherin. I'm a Honey Badger. <laughs> have you seen the Honey Badger? You don't give a flip. And that's just what I'm doing. I'm not giving a flip. Because I'm a honey badger. Okay. <laughs> You're Slytherin. I'm a ba badger. I'm a badger. I'm a badger. Okay. I'm a honey badger. So hot. Oh my goodness. So you guys, I'm really sorry I haven't made vlogs in a really, or a vlog in a really long time. Sorry. I'm going to try to be better. Like, Jordan, did you enjoy being in the vlog? I did. You. And you have watched Tea Time with Jordan and Sam. Thanks for watching.